In this question, we've been given the acceleration and we need to find expressions for the velocity and displacement at time t and we've been given these initial conditions. We know what happens when t equals naught. So, integrating naught, we get constant, call it c1. Integrating minus 2, we get minus 2t plus another constant. The initial conditions can be uh, tell us that when the velocity is uh, 2, 4, t is naught, we get c1, c2. So we now know the velocity is 2 minus 2t two plus 4. Integrating the velocity to get the position vector, we get 2t plus c3, we get minus t squared plus 4t plus c4. Again, initial conditions tell us that when t is naught, we're left with those two constants of integration. So we have an expression for r, which is 2t plus 2, and tidying this up a little bit, 4t minus t squared minus 3 is the displacement vector. The question then asks, at what time is the particle moving parallel to the i direction? So that means the velocity vector has got um, a component in the i direction, but the component in the j direction is 0. And so minus 2t plus 4 equals naught, t equals 2. So that is the uh, time at which the particle is moving parallel to the i direction. And that was part b, part c. When does the particle cross the i axis? So that means the particle is basically on the x axis and its y component the sort of j component, its y coordinate is zero. So again, it's looking like this. And so we know that the 4t minus t squared minus 3 equals naught, that's a quadratic, which we can solve, multiply through by minus 1, tidy it up, and you end up with that. And so when t is 1 and when t is 3, there are two times for which the particle crosses the x-axis.